The movie opens with a flashback to Chris's childhood. Young Chris was passionate about filming his family with a video camera. One night, this innocent hobby documented a life-changing event. Chris recorded a fierce argument between his parents that escalated quickly, ending in his mother leaving the house in a fit of anger, closely followed by his father. Chris followed them with his camera in hand. There, he saw his father kneeling on the ground under a strange light as the streetlights around them flickered off. This was the last time Chris saw his mother. She never returned home. His father firmly believed that she was abducted by aliens, a claim that Chris never accepted. Driven by a desire to find the truth, Chris decides to create a new documentary focused on debunking alien abduction stories. He believes these stories are nothing more than illusions or misinterpretations of real events. To gather material for his documentary, Chris attends a conference designed as a platform for people who claim to have been abducted by aliens. Here, they participate in talk therapy sessions to share their experiences. Chris arranges an interview with Adam, a man who claims to have been abducted. During the interview, Adam vividly describes his abduction, recounting a blinding light and the presence of large, shadowy figures. Chris, maintaining his skepticism, suggests that Adam's experience might have been a dream or a nightmare rather than a real event. Adam, feeling invalidated and angry, becomes agitated and accuses Chris of being like everyone else who refuses to believe him. At this moment, Emily, Adam's friend and the organizer of the interview, intervenes. She criticizes Chris for his insensitivity towards a victim and leaves the scene with Adam, disappointed that the interview was not conducted with the respect and understanding she had expected. Chris's journey into the world of alien abduction believers continues. His next stop is an art exhibition, where he encounters a woman showcasing her sculpture of an alien. Intrigued, Chris interviews her, asking how she could sculpt an alien without ever having seen one. The artist explains that her work is based on descriptions given by people who claim to have been abducted by aliens. She offers one of her black volume sculptures to Chris, but he politely declines, focusing instead on his mission. Chris then visits a gathering where individuals who believe they have been abducted by aliens come together for talk therapy. Accompanied by his cameraman Brent, Chris quietly observes the session from the back of the room. The group listens to various speakers share their experiences. When Emily, whom Chris had previously met during his interview with Adam, takes the stage, he is immediately struck by her presence. Emily introduces herself to the group and begins to recount her own story of alien abduction. Chris is skeptical, especially when Emily reveals that she has been abducted more than once, first at the age of seven and then again at 14. She is about to turn 21 and fears another abduction as they seem to happen to her every seven years. Like others, she has no memory of the events following her abductions and is left with lingering questions about the alien's intentions. After the session, Chris attempts to speak with Emily, but their previous encounter has left her wary and displeased with him. She dismisses Chris and leaves, further fueling his curiosity about her story. Later, as Chris and Brent drive home, the atmosphere is lighthearted, filled with jokes and laughter. Suddenly, the mood shifts when Brent, who is driving, believes he has hit something. Frightened, he stops the car. Chris, flashlight in hand, steps out to investigate but finds nothing but blood on the road. Brent follows with his camera, recording as they trace the blood trail. They are startled by a pig that suddenly emerges from the roadside, causing Brent to panic. Laughing at Brent's fear, Chris is then called over urgently by Brent. They rush back to the car and speed home, anxious to review the footage they captured. Back home, Brent replays the video, pausing on a frame that reveals a mysterious black figure behind Chris. Chris catches only a glimpse of the image and cannot make out what it is, despite Brent's insistence. Soon after, Chris and Brent return to the home of the woman who sculpted the alien artwork, only to find she is not there. Instead, they meet her sister, who reveals an intriguing device supposed to steal memories. She explains that the device belongs to Emily and was found on her neck after she was allegedly returned by aliens. With this new information, Chris and Brent decide to visit Emily, hoping she can provide further insight. Upon reaching Emily's house, they find her engaged in outdoor art. Chris makes an effort to gain her trust and eventually persuades her to talk more openly. Inside, Emily shows Chris a video of herself undergoing hypnotherapy, struggling to to recall her experiences. Despite her efforts, her memories remain elusive. 
When Chris mentions the memory-stealing device, Emily reacts strongly, indicating her reluctance to involve it in any way. That evening, as they drive home in the dark, Brent brings out the memory device. While discussing it, a mysterious light flashes from the device, puzzling both Chris and Brent. Arriving home, they review the footage from their car's black box camera, hoping to understand the source of the light. To their astonishment, they discover that they had inexplicably pulled over for over two hours, with no memory of why or what they did during that time. Time. The next day, Chris and Brent revisit Emily. Chris shares their recent strange experiences and assures her of his commitment to protect her and uncover the truth. Emily, on the eve of her birthday, reveals her plan to return to her childhood home, believing it to be the only place that can help her. She invites Chris and Brent to accompany her, and they agree to join her on this journey. Upon arrival, they are greeted by an old man who holds a paternal role in Emily's life. He introduces them to a ritual intended to protect Emily from being taken by the aliens. The ritual, filled with tradition and mystery, offers a glimpse into the depths of belief and the lengths people will go to seek protection from the supposed unknown forces. After a while, the narrative takes a mystical turn as Chris, Emily, and Brent undergo a ritual intended to protect Emily from alien abduction. The ritual begins with the trio being given a drink in a bowl. Emily drinks first, then passes the bowl to Chris, urging him to drink as well. After consuming the drink, Chris experiences a disorienting effect, his mind seemingly transported to a place that resembles an alien world. In his altered state, he confronts the beings he believes took his mother, venting his long-held anger and grief. The ritual concludes, and Chris and Emily awaken in a room, lying on a bed. Feeling weak from the effects of the drink, Chris inquires about Emily's safety. She suggests consulting the old man who conducted the ritual. However, their hopes are dashed when the old man informs them that the ritual was unsuccessful and that the sky is now open for the aliens. Frustrated and disillusioned, Chris reacts strongly and Emily, seeking to calm him, leads him away from the old man. They then leave the place to return home. As they drive through the dark, quiet roads, an eerie calm fills the car, broken only by the sound of the engine. Suddenly, a bright light appears on the road ahead, startling Chris into stopping the car. Emily and Brent urge him to drive past the light, but when Chris tries to start the engine, it fails to respond. Amidst their confusion and fear, a shadowy figure approaches the car, violently shattering the windows. The terrifying encounter leaves them unconscious. Chris is the first to regain consciousness. He finds himself surrounded by figures resembling aliens, but to his surprise, a human man approaches him. The man confronts Chris about his documentary, which aimed to disprove alien abductions. He reveals that the abductions are staged, part of a scheme to mimic alien encounters. The man then prepares to inject Chris with a syringe, intending to erase his memory of this revelation. Using a necklace given to him by Emily, Chris manages to free himself and then proceeds to untie Emily and Brent. They escape, only to find themselves facing a steep cliff, trapping them with no apparent way out. The men posing as aliens pursue them, but suddenly Suddenly, a mysterious craft appears. The sight astonishes everyone, including the kidnappers. The leader of the kidnappers is overwhelmed by the presence of the craft and falls off the cliff. As Chris checks on the fallen man, the mysterious craft moves closer to Emily. In a desperate attempt to save her, Chris rushes towards Emily, but both of them vanish without a trace. In the gripping climax of the movie, Chris finds himself awakening in an otherworldly, mysterious space, which he instinctively recognizes as the realm of the aliens. Amidst the real surroundings, he spots Emily lying at a distance. Approaching her, he uses a technique to help her focus on the present moment, allowing her to regain consciousness. Together, they remove a device attached to Emily's neck and start to navigate their way out of this alien environment. As they venture through this strange world, Chris and Emily encounter the aliens, whose appearance matches the descriptions given by those who claimed to have been abducted. The aliens reveal themselves as evolved forms of humans who, over millennia, have crystallized their egos. They explain that their interactions with humans involve abducting them and erasing painful memories as an experiment to see if it can alter the course of the future. Confronted with this revelation, Chris demands to know why they carry out these abductions. In response, the aliens show him footage from his seventh birthday, the last time he saw his mother. The video reveals a startling truth. It was not his mother, but Chris himself who was taken by the aliens after his father's breakdown. This revelation leaves Chris in shock as he had no memory of the event. Emily, gathering her strength, asserts to the aliens that they are no longer needed and implores them to cease their abductions. Abruptly, the encounter ends, and Chris and Emily find themselves back on the road they were driving, with Brent calling out to them. 
Sitting on the grass, Chris and Emily share a profound moment, gazing deeply into each other's eyes. Throughout their hardship, the movie concludes on this emotional scene, ending the story with a powerful mix of emotions. The film's ending suggests a sense of closure and newfound understanding for Chris and Emily, whose journey through the unknown brings them together in unexpected ways.